Good evening, everyone. My name is Andrea Blasi from Ravenna, Italy, and today we are going to speak of reconstruction of individual patients' anatomy with Fitmore. Traditionally, we choose the stem in relation to the internal anatomy of the femur. If we, ha we have a champagne flute canal, we choose a CLS stem. If we have a stove pipe canal, we choose an alloclastic by Mueller stem. And if we have dysplasia, we choose a Wagner cone stem to correct rotation. Does every patient need a specific stem? Or can one stem fit every patient? This is a challenge and uh, we will discuss. Fitmo stem has a wide variety. Fitmo stem has four families with, with four different offsets, 12 sizes for each offset, and three different bodies, family A, B, B extended, and C. In total, we have 48 different stems to solve our joint. Fitmo stem is a carved short stem. The primary stability is obtained through two points of support, the medial cortex of the neck and the lateral cortex of the femur. Thanks to these characteristics, Fitmo stem has a big versatility. In fact, increasing the size of the same family we can increase length, length and offset. Why preoperative planning is so important? It's so important to restore offset and leg left, to minimize complications, to guarantee implant viability, and to be prepared for alternative solutions. The first step is find the gap position and find the new center of rotation. Then we have to choose the right stem. We can see fit more A, fit more B, B extended and C. And we can see that only fit more B extended is good to reach the new center of rotation and reconstruct the joint. The global heat offset is very important to restore. It's composed by femoral offset and acetabular offset. If we increase the global offset, we have trochanteric pain. If we reduce the global offset, we have a high risk of early dislocation. This is an extra offset condition. We can see a short stem inversion lateralized. We can see that that, that stem can be good to uh, reach the new center rotation and this hip will go to early, early dislocation. If we use a Fidmore C, we can reach the new center rotation and the hip will have a high stability. The resection level, we can see coxa valga and coxa vara. In coxa valga, the center rotation is high, higher than the normal, and in coxa vara is low. In coxa vara, in coxa valga, the resection level is like horizontal, okay? And the distance to the lesser trochanter is high. In coxa vara, the resection level is more vertical and the distance to the lesser trochanter is low. This is a coxa valga clinical case. We can see that it's possible to solve this using Fitmostam 
and the intersection level is I. This is a Cox bar critical case. We can see that even in this case, we can solve using Fidmos 10 and the intersection level is very near to the lesser chocanter. This is a champagne fluid canal. Even in this case, we can use Fidmos 10 to solve. This is a stovepipe canal, very frequent in osteoporosis. We can solve using Fitmos 10 and in osteoporosis require high surgical sensitivity. Dysplasia, we can solve even dysplasia and uh, requires attentive preoperative planning. When? Is Fitmos stem not suitable? When we have an extra low center rotation without leg hypometry, we have to choose cone stem to solve this joint. In conclusion, Fitmos stem is very good to solve the various anatomy. And in particular, a single stem allows high confidence with the surgical technique and instrumentation. And this is very good to have reproducibility and good result. My experience, I use Fitmos 10 in over than 99% of my primary hip arthroplasty. I think that Hippostem is a great stem that is good and is dependable and versatile. My name is Andrea Blasi and thank you for your time.